Today we're taking a look at the FIO M6. This device can become a really great complementary device for a non-smartphone user and also if you want to minimize distractions while exercising or going out on a walk. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose and here we talk about digital minimalism and how to stay focused within our lives. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. A couple of months ago, I decided to review the Mighty Vibe, which is a dedicated music player for Spotify and also for Amazon Music. This device is targeted for runners or anybody that goes to the gym and wants a lighter load. At the time of my review, I did not like it because it required a smartphone in order to sync the playlist. It also requires Spotify Premium or Amazon Music. So it wasn't the best for me. As somebody who's trying to stay away from smartphones, it wasn't just the best fit. Since then, a lot of things have happened. The Lightphone 2 can now play podcasts and also music, which has been my primary way when I go to the gym or I exercise to listen to media. While the players are not state of the art, they are not the best, you cannot have multiple playlists as of right now, more improvements are coming, but I wanted to find a dedicated device. I want to take the time to give a shout out to Super Reviews, which is a channel on YouTube that focuses on these dedicated music players, headphone reviews, and everything sound. So make sure to check them out and give them a like and a subscribe. Very good uh, YouTube channel. So let's get to the review of the FIO M6. The FIO M6 comes in a pretty generic box. It brings a charger, documentation, but it also brings a nice little case and also a screen protector, which I thought was a nice addition to the packaging. When it comes to the price, it costs about $129 brand new, but you can find them used for $80 to $100 in the market, which is actually comparable to the Mighty Vibe. But what it does is that this device is more versatile. It, there are also other digital audio players in the market from different prices that may have better specs or they may sound better, but they don't have the versatility that this device has. This device runs Android and you may be thinking, Android means distracting apps. So why did you buy this? Well, yes and no. While the FIO M6 runs Android, it runs a very customized version of Android that only allows you to install applications that are whitelisted. The whitelisted applications that are audio related, they're listed on their website, you're able to download them, sideload them into a little SD card, and then sideload them into the device. You're able to install Spotify or maybe Amazon Music or things like that. You're able to bypass this and you may be kind of tempted to uh, installed uh, distracting applications. I downloaded, I bypassed the method, the downloaded, sideloaded the Aurora store in order to download different applications. You can also install F-Droid if that is your cup of tea. And you're able to download those distracting applications, but they will not run. With half a gig of RAM, the FIO M6 does not run those applications very well. It crashes every single time. But when it comes to the audio related applications, it runs them very well. I'll get to performance in just a second. I would like to talk about audio now. When it comes to compatibility of files, the FIO M6 runs every audio file imaginable, anything from AAC to FLAC or WAV or MP3s or anything that you throw at it, I was able to run it here. The audio sounds very good, better than the audio quality on the Mighty Vibe or even the audio quality on the Lightphone 2. While the Lightphone 2 has a decent audio quality, this has a better audio quality right here and you're able to pair it with high-end headphones and very low end. I try with different pairs, high-end, low-end, Bluetooth and wired and anything I threw at it, it was able to work. The device has Wi-Fi and also it has uh, Bluetooth so you're able to have a lot of compatibility. When it comes to performance, like I said, it only has half a gig of RAM. So it's not a lot but you're able to run the applications one at a time. I run different tests. I open, for example, Amazon Music and just run that application for a while. It was very good. Then I also ran Spotify and it worked very good and also I ran Tidal and it run very well as well. So when you're running only one application, it does wonders. Now, if you try switching from application to application very quickly and you try playing different things, it will struggle. It will struggle a lot. If you open more than two applications at a time, so let's say you have a podcasting application and you have a music application, it will manage. But whenever you run more, it will crash. It will even reboot. I ran Amazon Music, then Spotify, then Tidal, and then Pocket Casts, and that did it. The device started crashing, 
time after time. And after that, it even rebooted. So I was like, oh man, is this defective? But that is just a normal thing. The device is meant to run, again, audio only applications. And that's why I love this device because it's meant to do only one thing. And that one thing, it does it excellently. So while there are other Android uh, digital audio players, while there are other uh, digital audio players in the market that are not Android based, I think this device for the price has the best versatility. You're able to install applications that you're used to, but not the distracting ones. And you're also able to get high fidelity audio from this device. While it is not the best, it is very, very good and better than the Mighty Vibe or even better than the Light Phone. One last thing that I'd like to mention is the battery life. Battery life was excellent as well. It provided about seven to eight hours of continuous playtime. And when it comes to keeping the device on standby time, it lasted about 15 days on and off, just listening to music when I went to the gym or when I went to this place or you know when I took it on a little trip. So about 15 days of charge with light use. If you use it very heavily, it will run faster. So my experience with the 5M6 could have not been better. I want to thank again Super Reviews for his detailed explanations and everything when it comes to audio based um, players and headphones and everything that he's doing. So go check it out and maybe you will find that the 5M6 is a very good device for you or maybe other devices that he has featured. Make sure to join the different discords for asking questions or anything else. And if you have any questions about the 5M6, make sure to drop them in the comments below. I'll be there to answer your questions. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other things, just make sure to mention them and I'll, I'll interact with you guys. I'll see you in the next one.